Okay. That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. What is up guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing something I haven't done in a very long time and this is reacting to uh, the crashes, the fails, just random moments that you guys sent to me on this little group called the F1 YouTuber Squad. It's a series I've had running on my channel for like the last three years. Um, the last year or so it's been very, very sporadic. Um, and I thought I'd bring back the series one last time before F1 2019 gets released. So, um, yeah, if you want to check out this group, have a look at some of the moments and whatever um, that other people post, feel free. Um, but when F1 2019 starts up again, we're going to be doing this series quite a bit more regularly. There's going to be a lot more glitches with the new game, just that it always happens. Um, F1 2019 will be no exception, I'm sure. But um, yeah, today we're going to go through the last of the clips uh, from F1 2018 and other random racing games. And we're just going to have a bit of a laugh, to be honest. You'll get my reaction and uh, yeah, we can just have some fun with it. So if you enjoy these types of videos, please leave a like, subscribe and uh, let's get into it. First clip sent in by, uh, I don't even know who it is. I'll put the name up on screen, but he's having a real tough time here in Baku. Absolute carnage, left, right, and center, no matter which way you look at it. Uh, if anything, this actually reminds me a lot of the squad sprint that Asa Veloce hosted. Jeez, that was a real shit show, wasn't it? <laughs> but anyway, um, it's just, it's just never ending. That is, that is ridiculous. Red Squirrel 98, thank you very much for sending in the clip. He's got another one. Um, so, while we're on a roll, let's have a look at that as well. Hopefully the microphone is alright. Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, that Renault definitely jump-started. The online... Oh, okay, he nailed the start. Okay, I get you. You know, you catch me off guard sometimes. I think, oh, this is going to be some absolutely mon monumental crash. And then, I, I yeah. I'm not very observant as a person. Uh, anyone who knows me knows that. But anyway, we've got a, a very tasty clip here at Monaco. I'd really like to know what transpired to result in... All of that happening. We got Arsenal FC 145 with a monster slash Michelin slash Haas inspired design. It's out there. I I, I kind of like it. Guys, what the? F Honestly, what the? F is this guy doing? Fucking broken now. But uh, anyway, let's have a look. Checkered writer 56. He says ballerinas here at Monaco. That title alone just has me intrigued. So what are we saying? We got a 100% race at Monaco. And I'm not going to lie, if you're like, a, if you're not a YouTuber or some kind of hardcore league racer, and I really, you don't see 100% races all too often, it must be said. Oh, there's some pirouettes there. In no, I need to see more. I, I need to see that again. I want to see what just happened because I feel like they hit the inside barrier as well, which never happens for the AI. Got to spare a thought for him as well. He's leading the Grand Prix by 18 seconds. Clips the inside part of the barrier. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. I'm going to have to slow it down because I, yeah, I can't tell. Anyway, let's move on. What's going on here? AI are going absolutely mental. Is that a new graphic? I haven't seen that before. The green arrow above the uh, SC. Anyway, there's someone like right in front of the safety car. I think it's a Mercedes. Can't quite tell. He's getting told to overtake the safety car. Safety car doesn't have the green light to, that enables people to overtake. So I'm just getting a bit weirded out by the fact that the game is telling him to overtake. And, and what's that AI doing just like not pulling away? There are so many questions that I want answered. What's this? There's like five glitches in one here. I can't keep up. Oh, my battery's really low. That's a thing. Okay, that was the end of that clip. Uh, from now on, I don't think you're going to get any more webcams. So, bye-bye. <laughs> Literally stuck to the catch fencing. That's... Yep. Alright, let's 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 see an overtake here. FLXXRZ. Good luck pronouncing that as an actual word. Says uh, he's got a four-man overtake here. 
and, and boom, like wasting absolutely no time straight into P2. Well done. Let's watch this again from the third person to see an even more impressive uh, display of driving. Four cars in one. West Ham 980 with uh, Williams trying to get some extra fans. Looks like the Italian Grand Prix. Uh, but if you look at every single person here, there is not a single one. Not a single one. Maybe that guy, but who cares about him? There is, apart from him, no one seems to care that there is an F1 car just sat right at their feet. I mean, Williams is so irrelevant that they don't want to give it the time of day. Hard times. What is he doing? That guy has just... Oh! Well, there's the twist in the tail that I did not see coming. It's bloody Red Bar Central here. And the Williams is just King Lag McGee. He, he's literally... He's done a strike. He's, he's knocked out like 10 people in the race. And then... To, to quote Super GT here, he's... Uh, the guy in the McLaren has just visited the Shadow Realm. Uh, you love to see it. <laughs> what is that? Honestly, what is that? That guy has just been absolutely steamrolled. He's been trampled. It's like some poor little kid at a One Direction concert. It's just... I shouldn't say that. But anyway, he's just been absolutely demolished by a very angry pack of cars behind. And the caption is... Never stall. Um, no truer words have ever been said. We've got Eye Flaming Zombie here with some more project cars. This is the Indy 500. I would hazard a guess to say that was not a very good move to the inside. A bit of a barge. And now you find yourself in some trouble, my friend. He's got no front wing either. But I think that's the least of his worries as he goes for a bit of a spin. Takes out half the field as well. Nice. I mean, nice recovery in a way that you didn't knock yourself out of the race, but in doing so, you have just made a lot of enemies there, my friend. Oof. That's just, that's, that's pinpoint accurate, just like you see on TV. What have we got here then? Familiar Asp 54 with some uh, breeding lotuses. It's been a while since we've seen Pastor Maldonado. I miss these days. Chelsea fan 464. I love ranked online. You know what, Chelsea fan 464? I also love ranked online as well. He's in the Salva. Brazilian Grand Prix. Uh, basically a guarantee to have happen every single time. We've got Many, many crashes off the uh, starting blocks here. He's lost his front wing. We've got people lagging all over the place. He's lost his front wing. He's lost more of his front wing. He's down to 12. He has been absolutely sent into the barrier. That, jeez, uh, I, I think I need to put an age restriction on this video because that was violent. Turn one, absolute calamity. Makes perfect sense that this is ranked. Many, many people are losing their safety rating in this one, that is for certain. There is not a single clean person in this lobby from what I have seen. Everyone just wanting the beef, and then that. Like, what the hell is that? That's like getting sucked into a hurricane or a black hole. I think this is another screenshot from a ranked lobby. Moving on. Meanwhile, in uh, motorcycle games... <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that just looks funny to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty! That is the whole field! Congratulations! I have never seen that in a racing game before. Like, literally never. Well done. Crunch. 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 Somebody sort this out, please. Crunch. Crunch Arena. 
Where is the red flag? Crunch, crunch, crunchity, crunch, crunch, crunch. I'm hungry. I can open you the best nightclub in the whole state. Any of them. <laughs> God damn it! Those impenetrable trees. Um. Does someone want to explain how that has happened? That right there is like unlocking a secret part of the map in like Halo 3 or something. Uh, Scopes, you do not cut off your teammate like that. You should know from Fernando that all the time you have to leave with the space. Cowboy over here mounting those curves. And what is that? What kind of a swipe is that? That is not going to fly, I, I'm afraid. What was your caption? Getting a bit messy. Well, no, no crap, it's getting a bit messy. Oh, RBR, 9707. We love a good league racing clip, don't we? We see New Zealand Ryan in the mix as well. What could this possibly be? Is this recent? This must be recent. It's been a while since I've caught up with the uh, oceanic league racing scene. So let's sit back and enjoy. Let's see what happens here at turn one. It's always uh, a hefty old fight for some real estate here at this part of the circ. No. What a joke. What a joke. Dude is qualified. Well, where were, where were you? P3? And you just fall through. I had a similar issue at uh, this track as well into the third sector. I got stopped dead or something. Or I fell through the circuit. Something crazy happened and I lost the podium or something ridiculous. But what is this game? We are so close to F1 2019 and we've still got crap like that happening. What do we got here? We got it looks like project cars but I can't I can't tell. Uh, we're racing around some kind of street circuits with a very very slow motion camera. Old mate here in a formula this is project cars formula A car. That is V8 supercar stuff there. Fair play 10 points to the, the car in the green for not only making it look stylish, but also managing to, well, pick up some time in the process. We got another GTA 5 clip. Why not? Husky Lab 207. What are we saying? Bloody hell. Oh my god. This guy is ridiculous. 1949 to 2019. That is a beautiful, absolutely stunning screen. That might be one of the best photos I've ever seen on a racing game. Of course, huge uh, shout out to Nikki. One of the greatest comebacks in, in F1 history, let alone just F1 history, but sporting history. What he managed to do back then to come back from that near-death experience and, and come back and... And win a couple more world titles. Outstanding. Anyway, uh, this I think this looks like it's around about the time that Nikki died. So, of course, we're, we're seeing a lot of good tributes come in to, for Nikki. So, that's that's really, really nice to see. So, shout out to everyone who has been posting messages. And thank you to everyone as well who's just been keeping this, this group so active. Even though I haven't, you know, been active on it for the past six or so months. Uh, you guys have truly kept this little community alive and I really appreciate it. So I'm hoping that I'm going to come back to this a bit more regularly in the future with the new game coming out. But that is some astronomical development there from McLaren. That is almost like Sauber Season 2 levels of uh, development for myself there in, in, in my career mode. Bloody hell. That is some domination. I hope the career mode and the R&D aspect is a bit more balanced with the upgrades, but... We, we can only hope. An old clip, but still amazing. Let's have a look. F1 2016, I think it is. Oh my god. I think that might have actually featured on this uh, channel before. If he's saying it's an old clip. But my goodness, this... <laughs> this Manor F1 car goes absolutely pirouetting. Let's have a look. Pascal Wehrlein. Bit of side-to-side -side contact and the physics on that. The amount of energy going through that car is... Quite frankly, scary. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh! Fly Emirates. Don't fly anyone else. 
Why does F1 2016 have the most ridiculous crashes? Why the manner? Why the manner? Why do you put this car through so much agony? This is the same guy putting the manner through absolute turmoil. No wonder they quit F1. They couldn't deal with all of these crashes. This blue spider guy. How many how many clips has he sent me now? This is this is not the first, but he's 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 really trying hard to to get on to <laughs> to get into this video. If ever I was gonna come back and make another one, here's another one from the Australian Grand Prix. He absolutely catapults the Renault, and I'm not gonna sit through all that pausing and rewinding again. So we're just gonna move on to the next one. Um, if you're gonna show the clips, show them without really pausing them and slowing them down all too much. Um, yeah, we like to see the clips in all of their entirety. That is a nasty one. Halo is not going to protect you from the sheer g-forces of that one. Some serious height as well. It's really hard to get these cars off the ground compared to say like an iRacing damage model where you can just literally go cartwheeling sometimes with the smallest of contacts. Are you serious? Are you? No, no, Siri, no, no, none of that. Not again. Are you telling me that this dude has done a full... <sighs> cartwheel? And managed to land it. Now, what I want to know is, did he... He lost his front wing. Yeah, he lost his front wing, didn't he? But still, that is not the, uh... It's not the worst result in the world. Jesus. Like, look at the sheer amount of clips. That this guy is sending... Is that... I need to have a look at this one because it looks like there's multiple cars that have just been catapulted here. No, it's the front wing that has got the uh, the old hang time there. God. This guy certainly knows how to cause a crash, doesn't he? I think if there was like an eSports for, for crashes, I think this blue spider 12 guy would certainly take the crown of doing that. You know, who cares about trying to perfect the the, the small details of getting... All the setups right and the, the handling model and, you know, refining your own driving skills. It, it's about trying to find the, you know, the pressure points of uh, the track limits and trying to send your car as high and as violently sideways and upside down as much as you can. He he is fully getting the maximum out of this damage model, it seems. That, that is just terrifying. Imagine driving past that. You see the McLaren catapulting through the air and you're just thinking... Don't touch me, please. It never ends. It never ends. This is going to be like a 40-minute episode. Simply dedicated to Blue Spider 12. That is, uh, again, with the mana. Why? What have you got against mana? That means that you just pick on them so much. He's missing like half of the right-hand side of the car. Is that like a reenactment of YouTube Championship? 2016 with uh, Nico Rosberg. I think it might be because if I'm not mistaken I was in a Williams and I did send a car upside down in the third sector of Monza Another happy landing I'd gone out unscathed from that Are you sure? West Ham 980 with uh, what looks like an absolutely catastrophic Canadian Grand Prix. If your username is anything to go by, I think you should probably stick to FIFA. We've got Techno F1. This clip needs a fat beat. Oh yes, that is much, much better. But guys, I think that is going to do this uh, episode, if you will, of F1 YouTuber Squad, the group where we react to your F1 fails, glitches, crashes, whatever else. The occasional odd racing game. Let's let's actually finish off with this one here at Baku. Mandated goal, 254. It looks like an online clip, so what better way to end. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you need to see plenty more racing game content. And Baku. I don't know the end result of this, but well done anyway. See you guys in the next video. Wing.